The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Asthma Day. Hello and welcome to a special marvelous edition of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad with my little Tony Stark. I'm Asthma Daughter. Your little Star Lord. <laughs> Your little Star Lord. Yeah, and they bobble. We do. But yeah, what are we playing, Megan? We are playing Splendor and Marvel. This one's from Space Cowboy and Asthma Day. Yeah, this is like its predecessor, Splendor. Yes. Uh, same game mechanics, except we are now in the Marvel Universe, and we're going to have characters like Iron Man, which I don't really have an Iron Man. I just have Tony Stark, you know. Yeah, I think it works. He needs his helmet. It's right before he dies. Spoilers! Pete's been out for a while. Okay, so yeah. check it out. This version follows the same rules that normal Splendor has. On your turn, you can do one of four things. You can either take one out of three stacks of the uh, Infinity Stones. So you can take one of three different colors. If there are four in a stack, at least, then you can take two of one color. You can basically recruit a card that you have here or in your hand if you have um, all the stones basically to uh, fulfill that. And if you look at the uh, bottom of the card there, it tells you you need four red in order to recruit a uh, vulture here. And we do have heroes and villains all mixed together. Uh, finally, the last thing you can do is you can reserve a card. Uh, what that means is you can take any card that you have here and you get to take the shield, the gray shield token. That's going to be a wild that you can use that to represent any of the other colors when you are trying to fulfill that. There is a max of only having three of those cards. And you may notice that Megan immediately just grabbed Star-Lord because That's she thinks boy. she always gets Star-Lord. I love uh, Star-Lord. And sometimes I am guilty of hate drafting you, just so she do. cannot get that. So when if Iron Man comes up, I have to hate draft him. And you have not been able to do that yet. So. I mean, I think it's only came up once. Yeah. So you, yeah. Because you can see we actually have a lot of cards here. We have 40 of the level 1 greens. We have 30 of the level 2 oranges and 20 of the level 3 blue. So how you win is if you have at least... 16 infinity points and you'll notice that at the top of some of these cards there are points so like in this case the ghost spider which that's really spider gwen looks like spider gwen uh, yeah. she's worth two points uh you have nick fury he's worth one star lord's worth two yes, yes. and you've got uh that's ghost true. rider he's worth two so if you have at least 16 mm -hmm. points of that uh also you need one of each color in your tableau and um you need this green chip now the time stone the time stone there's only one way to get the time stone how is that Megan? you need to get a level three hero and these offer those green chips that is the only way you can get that yeah you'll notice like megan pointed out there's that green symbol at mm -hmm. the top so that is the only way that you get those and you can see that as you go from level th uh, one up to level three the requirements to get those cards is a little harder yep. um then once you have done that you have assembled the infinity gauntlet so there's the 16 points there's the one of each color card and then the green in uh time stone now you'll also notice here we have an avengers token this is going to be worth three victory points or three infinity points uh and you get to get this token if you have a three uh, Avenger symbol. Or so, the most. Or the most because you'll notice like here on Miss Marvel at the very top you'll see that uh, she basically gives one of the Avengers symbols. So if you're the first player to uh, get three then you get to take that uh, Avengers token. But if I would get four and you had three originally I get to take this and we just keep passing it back and forth with whoever has the highest Avenger count. Exactly and that could come into play at the end of the game mm -hmm. because uh, you may have that and you may lose it yep. uh, because you're going to play and every player is going to have an equal number of turns. So uh, the end of game could be triggered and somebody takes that, it could affect that 16 point. Now there are uh, a number of other ways that you can get points and that is with the location tiles. And these are double-sided 
So you can see we have nowhere, but then on the back side, uh, we have Atlantis. So these all give three infinity pointlet or <laughs> infinity points, and you'll see the requirements. So you have to have at least uh, three blue cards, three red cards, and three purple. Now, because these are double sided, and in a two player game, we are only going to use two of these. How do you make sure that you get these? Uh, drawn fairly. I mean, you can just shuffle them up under the table and throw them out, but we have something you cool. You could, because uh, Mom actually created a little Avengers draw bag for us. So what we do is we throw those locations in there, we mix them up really good so we don't know uh, what side they are, and then we're going to pull two of them out. So we've got Asgard and, and Atlantis. And Atlantis. Yep. I also want to point out in a two-player game, we do not use all of the infinity stones. We only have four of each and only two of the uh, time stones. However, we do use all of the, um, the shield uh, chips. You do have a max of only being able to have 10 chips and uh, the time stone and the shield chip count toward that 10 uh, total. All right, let's get ready to play. I don't even have to ask if Megan wants to go first because the rules say the youngest player gets yeah, to go. Yeah, so that's me. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go for a red, a yellow, no, not yellow, blue and orange. A red, a red, a blue, and an orange. Well, you see, hmm. Beyonce down here has that as well. Why is he Beyonce? Cause that's Wong. Because that's what... Doctor Strange tells him Which in the movie. We did just watch Doctor Strange, Strange the other night. And uh, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. They were on back to back. Well, actually, they were They're on different, different channels. channels. Yeah. But one ended and the other one began. Yeah. So it was kind of funny. Uh, I think I will go yellow, red, and. Orange. Um, yeah, you talked me into that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go red, orange, and yellow. Let's go yellow, orange, and purple. Hmm. And the chips are never hidden information. No. All right, so I have a red, two orange, a blue, and a yellow. I'm going to take long. Him to my tablet here. So we always immediately refill. Ooh. And now Megan, because she has a red card, will get a one red discount yep. that can be used towards uh, the recruitment of any card. So I've got uh, two yellow, an orange, and a red. Two orange. Two orange, two yellow, and a red. So you get Miss Marvel. I get Miss Marvel. And out comes Hawkeye. All right. Um. Take a red, blue, and another orange. Let's go yellow, blue, and... Purple? No. Let's go orange. Okay. Purple, red, Orange. Go yellow, purple, orange. Okay. All right. One blue, two orange, three, four red. Take my boy. He's my favorite. And we get Miles Morales. I like him too. He's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go with two yellow and two purple. Can take Electra. Electra. That was a horrible movie. Yeah, she's great in Netflix Daredevil, though. I like that show. It's really good. Oh, uh, let's see. Purple, yellow, blue. Let's go purple, blue, yellow. Do purple, blue, and red. Okay. 
I am actually going to reserve a card and I'm going to reserve Ooh. Ghost Rider. Nice. So that is not completed. It just goes in basically into my hand. Yep. Who came out there? Uh, Carnage. Carnage. Maximum Carnage. Two, two, and one for Hawkeye. That gives him an adventure symbol. We got Mysterio. And he's just a dream. It's all fake. Blue. No, but I will say that that scene in Far From Home was kind of freaky. The zombie scene? Yeah, with Tony coming off, dude, that was creepy. Also, sorry if that's a spoiler, y'all. You should have seen that movie by now. Yeah, it's been a couple of It's, it's been a little bit. Let's see. Wait a minute. What do I got? Two, mm -hmm. four, six, seven. Yeah, I'm good. I was going to say, I'm at my max. close. I'm at my max of ten. Okay. Purple, blue. And do another red. Okay, so now I will complete Ghost Rider. Nice. So that's going to take two yellow, four blue, three plus the one, mm -hmm. and a purple. Nice. So. All right, two orange, three red, two purples. It's going to get me Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Ooh, hello. Nice. You know what? So let me use two orange in my wild and I'll take a stereo. And Rhino comes out. I'm going to take two purples since there's four in that stack. Okay. I've got three red plus one and I will take Vulture. Vulture. Uh, Modoc. Modoc. Oh, he is Modoc. He's weird. Red, yellow. Take another purple. Let's go orange, purple, and uh, we'll grab a blue. You know how Modoc's uh, like yeah. just a big head? Yeah. Yeah, we fought against him in our Marvel D and D campaign, and I was trying to hit him in the face, and I rolled so bad I missed. How? Because his face is big. I rolled like a two. I like didn't even get him. <laughs> so you know that was fun. Uh, anyway. Two red and two orange will get Modoc, so then I can punch him in the face there. Squirrel nice. girl. Nice. Squirrel girl. I do like that about this game. There's a lot of like, there's a whole bunch of characters in here. Well, yeah. You wouldn't expect Squirrel Girl to be like in your normal Marvel character lineup. You think the Avengers, Guardians, you know, your normal typical baddies. You don't really think Squirrel Girl. Let's so I see. Like she's in here. Yellow, blue, orange, purple. And I'll take Ryan now. And Valkyrie. Oops. Put that uh, right over here. Um, I'll take Squirrel Girl to purple. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have a red. Never mind. I'm not going to do that. You got a red. Oh, you need, I need one another more red. red. Yep. I thought the well, orange and the red would switch. No, it's okay. I'm okay. I'll just take... Um, who is this? Silver Sable. Okay. Take her instead. Yeah, we got a Lockjaw. Uh, Big slobbery dog. Yeah. Um, you know, I am going to, let's see, what do I want? I want, mm -hmm. I want a yellow, I want... A purple and an orange. Yeah, I know what you're for. I'm gonna take the same though. Yellow, purple, orange. Okay. I am going to reserve Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah, I figured. Alright, so the Grandmaster came up. It does not look like Jeff Goldblum though. It does not look like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> it's his birthday. <laughs> it's his birthday. I love that about Thor Ragnarok. But it's just it's such a good movie. Um, let's see. You know what? I think I'll take Lockjaw. I have a blue, a purple, orange, and yellow. I'll take the dog. I just need a blue. And we get Moon Knight. Nice. So, do you want to see Keanu Reeves as Moon Knight? Is that who? Or Jason Isaacs? 
Ooh, I like Jason Isaacs. Jason Isaacs is, Isaac is, is like, the one um, I saw the other day they're talking about. I haven't about. even like heard about that. Um, let's see. I mean, the only thing I've seen Keanu Reeves in is Bill and Ted, so like that's just what I picture him as. I don't like to see John, John Wick. I don't see John Wick, no. Matrix? You have not I haven't seen, seen Matrix. Matrix. Oh, you need to watch it. Alright, so here is one yellow, two yellow, and my wild is three. Off. My orange and my purple there. So now, let's see. I feel like I'm, I'm reserving early. You I'm are. reserving low cards. You don't normally do that. I'm kind of surprised. Well, the last couple games I re I've reserved, but they've yeah. usually been the higher ones. Yeah, they're only higher. Mm, I'll go ahead and take Moon Knight. There's two and three. And we got Lizard. Is that going to be an amazing special one? I am just going to take two yellow. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Maybe I don't have any. Um, let's see. We've got the purples. Take a purple. A red. Oops. And I'll do a blue. Well, lizard's free for me because yeah. I have a two blue and a purple. Nice. Sometimes it's hard to pass up free cards. Yeah. Ooh, Kingpin. No, I get that. Um. I think I'll take Grandmaster. So that's purple, red, blue, yellow. Oh, I'm paying with purple. And we've got Craven. Um, I don't know anything about him. You said can, the other day that looks like Joe Exotic. Yeah, with this tiger print there. Joe Exotic was a superhero. I could take Kingpin for free because I have one yellow and two purple. So. Baron Zemo. Um, I'll take Craven. That gives me my purple. Um, let's see, orange, two red, and two purple. Squirrel I'll take Squirrel Girl, which will give me three Avenger symbols, so yep. I get the Avengers token. And we've got Crystal. Hmm. I don't know Crystal. Don't either. No clue. Ah, oh, this guy's free. This guy, Triton? Triton, yeah, I don't know who that and is. we've got right. Scorpion. If that was the rock, it'd be the Scorpion King. Well, let's go yellow and blue and orange uh, pay three red to get Baron Zemo Nick Chavez all right so five yellow and three red nice. will give me carnage. carnage and we get black cat Gonna take a purple, an orange, and a blue. I am going to take Miles Morales and reserve him. Mm. Ooh, Daredevil. Daredevil. You like Daredevil. I do like Daredevil. Of course, you've met Charlie Cox. I have. And I've been reading a bunch of Daredevil comics. So it's kind of cool. Um, Charlie Cox is the actor. Is the he actor played Daredevil on the Netflix. Netflix series. Yeah. Matt Murdock. Really good show. Really and he's not really blind. Canceled. No, he's not. And he's British. Yeah. He was, he's very nice when I met him, too. He's very sweet. Um, <laughs> purple, blue, red. I will complete Miles Morales nice. for five purple. I've got three there. I've got my wild and my purple. Okay. And that gives me three blue, three red, and three purple. Nice. So I will take uh, Atlantis. Cool. It's going to be worth three points. So just for you uh, watching at home, I have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13. I just need three more yeah. uh, to be able to get pretty close to that infinity. All right. Number. So I've got three purple, six orange, three blue. We'll take out the marble. Ooh, so you'll it's get your green. time stone. Yep. And how many points you got now? Uh, yeah, not enough. Four, seven. six, seven. Uh, yeah. I have three Avengers. How many you still have? Three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I still I have got three. Them. Well, there's Cap. Oh, he is Cap. He's double Avengers, because he's the first Avenger, you know. He is the first Avenger. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to take, who is this? This is Scarlet Spider yeah. for free. I'm going to take um, Abomination for free. And that's three purples, three orange, and three ah. yellow. Ha <laughs> ha. I got it. So I get that. So I put you not. at seven. Still not close. Ten. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. You want a trash panda though? It's free. It's free. It's a free trash panda. I think I'll pay a blue, and I got three blue already, and I'll take Scorpion. Cool. And out comes Spider Man 2099. Alright. I feel like that was a thing in the Spider Verse, like in one of the post credit scenes, but I can't remember. I did not like oh, the Spider-Verse. I loved it. It was so good. I'm waiting for the live-action Spider-Verse with that, Tobey Maguire and Andrew happen. Garfield and Tom Holland. I mean, and... if you looked at the cast list for the new Doctor Strange movie, they're yeah. currently on it. And you're talking about, you know... Come on. A couple of Gwen Stacys you, you could have. You could bring back Andrew Garfield. Or, uh... My favorite. Yeah, you could have Bryce Dallas as... Yeah, and Emma Stone. And Emma Stone. Oh, yeah, but she kind of had her neck snapped. You know, <laughs> I don't know how well that would actually go over, but you know, you know, minor details, I guess. Um, I'm gonna take two yellows. Uh, I think I will take the trash panda for free. Go okay. Yeah. So I have five yellows, three blues, three orange, three purples. I'm ah. Taking a cap. Uh oh. So, how many points did that give you? Oh, uh, they gave me three, and I have more Avengers now. You can't see that. What? Oh, yeah, I can't. It's okay. invisible. Thank so, you. you have four, so you get that. So, there's six, uh -oh. um, 10, 13, 16. Huh, how many do so, you need to win? You need 16. You need 16 and a green. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah. I still have my final turn. Do, I could take that event. No, I actually. You can't. Um, well, could you? Well, it would come down to. Um, if we both have the conditions, mm -hmm. it would be who has the most points. And I have 16. You've got 3, 4, 6, 8, 11. No, I have 3, 5, 7, 8, 10. I have 11. Yeah. Um, I have 11. And unfortunately, you. I was going to take Cap. In fact, I thought about re reserving him. Yeah. Because he's got the two Avengers symbols. It just kind of worked out. I wasn't even really looking um, at him. I was just like, oh, I can take that. Because I cannot get that from you. Which would knock you down. Yeah, no, you don't have enough. I was going to say get enough. Luke. That would give you five points, but... Um, no. You need more orange. I need a lot more than what I can get here. I can't even... I don't think I can even get... Well, let's see. Yeah, I could get, I could take Spider-Gwen, which would give me more points, but... I mean, really, what's the point? Um... One, two, three, four. You wouldn't be out enough, yeah. No, I'm not going to be out enough, but I will go ahead and take her just because it's points and I have enough to go Oh, free. look who came up. Jessica. Jessica. No Iron Man. No Iron Man. It's All right. Okay. So I guess we're going to hand Megan the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. Yeah, I think my fatal mistake there was not reserving cap. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to need an extra turn. I didn't think you were actually going to take it. I didn't think about it, and then I just kind of saw it. But yeah. That was a pretty close game. That was. This is a, one of the few times I've actually won this version of Splendor. Yeah.
which is flipped compared to how it used to be. It is usually because in normal splendor, mm -hmm. you kick my butt. You do. But, and this is spoilers. <laughs> Uh, well, I won. I won. Yeah, it's been out for years. Yeah. I won the one that we have the show on. Yes. And in this, in the Marvel version, I've me. kicked your butt. You have. And you beat me on camera. So yeah. I guess that's well, I won the first that's game. the balance. Yeah, you did. Actually, you won the first two. Well, you won yeah. the first two out of three. But so we've been playing this so a lot lately. It's perfectly lately. balanced as it should be. This is the way. Oh, well, that's a totally different franchise. Oh, they could do Star Wars Splendor. Yeah, they could do Spar or Spinner, but hey, we'll talk about Ooh, that in our review. Okay. All right, so now let's get to what we think. Okay, Megan, so since you won, win. and you have the Avengers token, and you have the Infinity Gauntlet, yeah. I don't want to tick you off and make you snap your fingers. So yeah. I'm going to let you go first. Uh, I really like this. I was super excited when I saw the Splendor Marble banner across the show hall at Gen Con, and I was like, dude, we have to get this. Like, I don't know when it's coming out, but like, I love Splendor, I love Marvel, it's a combination. That was in 2019. Like, two of my favorite things, and I'm like, we need that. So I was very, very excited to get this. Um, if you guys saw the unboxing, you saw how like I was squealing with excitement about some of these cards, um, mainly because the Defenders weren't here, which I thought was super cool. Um, like I said earlier, you know, Score Girl is not a character you would normally see pop up, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, here you had Quake, so I mean, if you're familiar with kind of all, yeah, there's my girl, see? I'm very happy. All my favorite characters in here. Um, Bucky's in there somewhere too. Uh, he's in the tier one stack though. But like, I just think that's super cool. I love that. Um, I like just, you know, it's cool that you can kind of get heroes and villains, which is kind of interesting because you're not really like recruiting a team or anything. You just kind of, when we've been playing, it's like picking your favorite characters. Cause like, I have to go with, you know, my boy, Star Lord. If he's on the table, I'm going to go for him. If I can get Nebula, I'm going to go for her. Even though, you know, there's six, but like, I have to. They even have Mary Poppins, y'all. They do have Mary Poppins, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, in our unboxing, you know, we went through all the characters. There's so many characters. Peter Porker. Yeah, see? Like, that was like, I love that. Why would you ever expect a normal game to have Spider-Ham? Like, you're you doing here. There you go. There's Bucky. There's my boy. Yeah. The Winter Soldier. Yeah, so excited for that show, too. But yeah, like, if you're a huge Marvel fan, you're going to pick this up. If you like Splendor, you're probably definitely going to pick this up. And it just, I don't know, it's so cool. There's yeah. Gamora. Yeah. So, you know, you got the Guardians. You know, there's Daredevil, which I think is cool. And there's, like, all these cool characters. I'm trying to find Iron Man. He's probably, like, at the bottom of the stack. I did not, like, stack the deck either. There he is. He's near the bottom. Finally. <laughs> there's there's my boy. There's your boy. So, uh, talking about the artwork. So, the artwork is really good, I think. Uh, although, my boy, I think think he could have had a little bit better artwork. See, Gar like Star Lord's always like super cool. Star Lord does Star look cool. Lords, yeah. uh, Spider Man looks really good. Yeah. Spider Man. Uh, cool. Hulk looks really good. Yeah. Uh, we did notice, or at least I did early on, that the Doctor Strange card art here is well, the same that's on Marvel Champions. And I was going to mention that which because. Which is a different company. Which is kind well, of funny. It's Fantasy Flight. Yeah. So they're kind of under, under the, the same, same umbrella. umbrella. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. This is Space Cowboys, and that mm -hmm. is Fantasy Flight. And speaking of which, if you look at She-Hulk, that's it's also the same. the same artwork from Marvel Champions yeah. as well. So that's um, kind of funny. Now, I do want to talk about because there's a couple that I of the uh, the art that I really like, uh, and that's probably going to come as a shock to you. Which ones? So that is Crossbones. I think really? he just. I think it just looks. It does look really cool. Looks really good. Yeah. And then, actually, my favorite piece of artwork is the Green Goblin. Really? Uh, yeah, he, that just looks cool so villain. cool, I think. Uh, see, he's got the little pumpkin bomb there. He's yeah. on his glider. Uh, just looks really neat. And I've never actually been able to uh, to get to him. Because here's the thing. With the gameplay, you do not really get a lot of the level 3 cards. No. At least not in our experience. There's 20 of them. Yeah, you got two, which yeah. is probably the most we've ever had in one game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, normally, it's like... You get the one, you get your uh, time stone, and then that's, you know, you've by that point, yeah. you've got your points that you need, and you trigger the end of the game. It's Loki. Loki, yeah. Like Loki. 
Yeah, um, the chips are really nice too. I mean, just like in you know the regular Splendor, these have some heft to them. They have kind of a shiny finish. Yeah, they're I, basically the same as what's yeah. in the original version. They are good for colorblind people though, because they all have different little symbols like around the stone, so you now, can kind of differentiate that. I do wish that they had more locations. I, I, I do like the fact that let's see, where's the bag? How many do we got total? We have eight total. Um, so I like so, you know, there's so there's there, there's four to four tokens. They're double sided. Yeah, eight. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to see more. I do like, you know, Hell's Kitchen. That's cool because it's Daredevil. Avengers Tower, um, Atalon, Nowhere, Atlantis, and Asgard, and Wakanda. So, I mean, yeah, there are more places in, you know, the Marvel Universe you could have locations for. So, you could easily. Expansion? Yeah, I mean, yeah. But Maybe. There's so many characters in this already, which is, you know, kind of cool. Um, but there are some notable Marvel characters that are not present. Like? Who are you thinking? Uh, Fantastic Four. And X Men. Yeah, that well, might be licensing. It could very that's well be licensing, like uh, but maybe they'll have that worked out in time for an expansion that at some cool. point. That would be cool. Yeah, I didn't even think about that earlier on. But yeah, that would be nice. Because I really enjoy the Fantastic mm -hmm. Four uh, and X Men. Yeah. So you like Wolverine? You have the hots for him. Well, it's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> who who doesn't have the hots for Hugh Jackman? Yeah. Um, and then of course you've got uh, Deadpool. Yeah, which I'd like to see that'd too. be really cool. Actually, you could have like 15 different copies of Deadpool in here. There's that, so that would be funny. Yeah, that would be funny. Um, but yeah, the gameplay is the same as the, the original, and I like mm -hmm. that. This is a game, this was one of the early games that we featured yes. on the channel. It was one of the early games that we actually had that we were playing when we kind of got mm -hmm. into the hobby. And um, It's definitely really like in my top 20 games. It's, it's, it's so close. It's personal. It's like one of the first games that got us into, you know, tabletop. Well, it's a, it's, I would say kind of a relaxing game. It is. Uh, except when certain cards hit the table, the then Megan wants to make sure she gets Star-Lord. <laughs> yes. Uh, you didn't have a problem with me taking the Rocket Raccoon. You can have the Trash Panda. I had my boy. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, if only Nebula would come up and I'd taken oh, her. Oh, I would have fought you for that. That's my girl. So see, these are some of the things that maybe you'll experience when, when you play this. Yeah. You know, you're going to want to get your favorite characters. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, thematic-wise, I mean, there really was no theme in no. the original Splendor. You know, you're collecting jewels and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Here, you've got heroes and villains. You're not really recruiting them to be on yeah, your team that you're using to fight. You're just basically recruiting them uh, to put cool. in your tableau. It is cool. Yeah. And to me, that doesn't matter. I don't mm -hmm. need... A strong theme in no. this. I love the artwork. I love the fact that it's Marvel related. Mm -hmm. And we talk about things. We talk about the characters and stuff that yeah. you saw when uh, when certain things came up, like when Daredevil came yeah. up, or you know, other things kind of trigger uh, things for us. You know, like Jessica Jones. Yeah. You, know, you watch Jessica Jones first, oh, and I started watching love it, it because you watch it because of David Kilgrave. Tennant. So who have you also <laughs> met? Kilgrave is such a cool villain too. Um, but no, yeah, honestly, I don't mind that this is comic art. And maybe it's because I'm starting to actually get into reading the comics now, so that might be kind of helping. Um, but, you know, sometimes we're like, oh, it would be nice if it was, like, the MCU, because, like, sometimes we're not as familiar with the comic stuff. But I think the artwork that they've chosen for each of these characters is really cool. Um, so, honestly, I don't mind that, because I think that is kind of interesting to kind of see all the different art styles and how these characters are portrayed. Well, and because there are so many cards, there are, are quite a few characters yeah. that we don't know, so yes. we're kind of being introduced to those. And, Which is cool. And that's okay. Even if you're not that into the comics or the yeah. movies and you don't know who the characters are, I think you'll appreciate it. And you might even, you know, be inspired mm -hmm. to look up who these characters are, maybe check out a comic or two. Well, that's been something that's come up in most Marvel games, especially when it is comic-based. Um, there are characters we don't know, Real. we're not familiar with. So we're like, oh, let's kind of Google them, see how they come up into the universe. Punisher. So, that's cool. So, yeah, I haven't watched Punisher. There's Scarlet Witch. It was kind of funny, the uh, game that we had the other day, uh, <laughs> on mission. the Tableau, yeah, we had, uh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. So you've got, yeah. So there it's you go. There is WandaVision It'll right come there. Up in January. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I was just looking to see. Here's Ronan from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Just trying to pick out the MCU ones that I recognize. Shuri um, from there the are next ones Black Panther. The Inhumans. Because there's one down there. I mean, you had the dog, the Lockjaw is from Inhumans. Which yeah, wasn't and I'm not a, very a fan good of them. Show. There's, um, there's yeah. Red Skull. Uh, Red Skull's another one of those that um, has not come out much. No. Uh, but I really like the Red art Skull's on him. Cool. Well, and I mean, 
the, the yeah. him and Captain America. I mean, that was that was so excellent. Cool. Um, you got Venom, which Megan has not seen the movie I Venom yet. yet. I'm just, hoping that I get that for Christmas. I just got her like two um, dots apparently. But yeah, it, it's so funny. Yeah, uh, I like Tom Hardy. It's also very violent. And it would be a movie I could actually like understand him because most Tom Hardy stuff I've seen, I haven't Falcon. been able to understand what he's saying. Uh, there's War Machine. Yeah, so, so I mean, yeah, cool. there's super cool characters. Oh, yeah? So many in here. I am Groot. I was just thinking too, with you know, if they want oh. to do an expansion. Um, I don't like the Quicksilver. The the New Mutants, the one that just came out, that didn't really do well in theaters though, but it has the guy from Stranger Things in it. Oh, and Phil. Phil. Or Phil. Phil. Not Phil. Um, Who the heck is Phil? <laughs> what's his name? Wolf. Isn't it the Wolf Kid that was in it? Isn't he in that? Finn Wolfhard? Finn, yeah, Finn. No, Phil. that's, no, he's an it. Uh, it's the older Oops. Briar's brother, Jonathan. He's in it, and um, Maisie Williams is in it. He plays Arya Stark in Game of Thrones. There's so, like, you can have those characters. I'm not familiar with them. Iron Fist. That. It was kind of funny. We had Iron Fist come up in the game we played yeah. last night, and you were saying he was, what, a wimp or oh something? Oh, my God, I hated him in Defenders. <laughs> And that's part of the reason why I haven't watched the Iron Fist show, but I kind of want to watch Black season Women? two now, because the guy that plays the Master currently is like the bad guy in season two. Doc Ock. We need to show oh more of his, uh, it his, me out. his tentacles. Yeah, Spider-Man 2. Oh, that yeah, traumatized Doc me. <laughs> yeah, you still won't even watch it, will you? No, I, wa I mean, I, I need to watch the Tobey Maguire once again, because I was a little bit too little watching that the first time around. No, so if then, I opt for Spider-Man, I go for Andrew Garfield, because that's my boy. Uh, Ghost Rider. Just throwing out these uh, yeah. uh, ones we've seen in the movies. Mysterio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, really cool. I will, you know, we can't shut up talking about this game. So, be really good. Two thumbs and up for me. Here, here, show me the bag. The bag? Yeah. So, I told my wife, I said, hey, we really need a bag. And we actually had some... Uh, fabric left over mm -hmm. because she made me a marvel tree skirt yeah. because i we put up a marvel tree well it's not it's marvel a it's a superhero villain so tree because we stuff. have dc we have marvel we have the incredibles yeah uh so uh i said hey can you make me a bag that we can uh, pull those out of so she found a really neat easy pattern uh just you know you've just got the ribbon, the, uh, ribbon yeah. here i can so, cinch it up so yeah you just so a little bit, stuff yeah. is not going to fall out but yeah, it worked out mm -hmm. really well. Uh, so, you know, that's something that you can add to your own to kind of bling it out. You don't need it. I mean, like you said, you can just kind of, you know, mix them up and go, hey, there's two. But, you know, it's cool. You know, it kind of looks like uh, Marvel threw up on our game mat, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. It's All cool. All right, so that is Splendor Marvel from Space, Cow Space Cowboys <laughs> and Asmodee, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that like and subscribe button. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at Dad and Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.